media fundraisers, by which I mean either people who are country directors uh, of big countries, or regional people, or international people. And, and most of the response were actually people who were the international director of fundraising of a given cause. Um, we asked them to offer their opinion generally, and then we also asked them to offer their opinion by region. And I'm going to show you the way the data is closed into five regions, kind of Europe, Asia, uh, the Ameri North America, South America, uh, Oceania. But actually the data has been subsequently cut into about 12 or 15 different regions, 12 different regions. So, that, so Asia, you'd be glad to know, has been divided into more than just one place. <laughs> None of us could point to it on a map, but it has been quite <laughs> So that's um, the idea of like saying, can we actually cut the data? And we asked, I mean, a number of questions, but a set of questions just simply were cut into to four. Um, what's your basic strategy in view of the fact that we're still in the middle of this thing called a recession? And at the time the survey was started, which was six weeks ago, we hadn't had the news that the recession was over. <laughs> so what's your basic strategy? You know, are you cutting back to your cost to meet your needs, are you expanding? How have you been affected? Uh, how is it, what has happened to your income? Has it gone up or has it gone down? How do you think cause has generally been affected? What's hot and what's not? You know, if you're in animals, should you get out of animals? Is, is the environment running away with money and, and, and funds and stuff? Or is Oxford University still doing frighteningly well despite the fact they have no discernible need for any more money whatsoever? Note to self, don't diss customers. Um, and lastly, how confident do you feel about the futures? Which is where the main confidence word comes from. So I'm just going to take you, uh, these are where people work from. Um, a quick tripping to, to a normal. We, we had a very low turnout from South America until you sent it out to a lot of your friends saying fill us in. So that, that's gone up. But you can see it's a reasonable spread of people from different uh, regions. Um, as I said to you, people respond from different kinds of uh, organisations. Uh, we had different kind of roles, either not a fundraiser or an international director of development or a national director, sort of people were. And here's the first of the results. We said to people, how are you responding to this, the, the, the fundraising crisis? And people were offered a number of choices. 11% um, of people said that the financial crisis has been a major problem. Donations have dropped considerably, and we just had to accept that deal. Uh, some people said, more people. 14% said, this was not a major problem. It's blowing over and donations are starting to grow. Um, and 5% of people said, no matter what happens, we need to fight for market share. Expansion has been our key tactic. That was 5%. And it was a major problem that we took effective action. So interesting people divide your primary between it was a major problem, we did something about it. We laid pe Some people laid people off. Some people <coughs> streamlined their... But lots of people took the line of saying the only possible response was to fight for market share, was to say if times are hard, you need to expand and be more aggressive. 